Hi everyone, in today's GeoSnap we're going to take a look at how you can use custom themes to really make your story maps pop. Story maps are all about telling your story, so something you may want to try is creating your own theme. To start, you're going to give your theme a name. For the purpose of this, we'll say that we're working on a project with Parks Canada. Going into our colors, we start by choosing a background color. If I was to choose something dark, along with our dark text here, we'll get this warning that says it's not legible. And these are numbers from an accessibility perspective of what are things looking. Now, if we go to this light green, things look good. We're getting those green check marks. And these are things you can start trying out and see what works, what doesn't. Adding in some accent colors, I'm going to pull from some of the Parks Canada colors and see what looks best here. Pulling in a light green color. Okay, we'll see the button, the link style, and the quote. Those look good. Now let's go for some of those optional accent colors as well. Instead of this red, let's go for a blue. Instead of this other green color below, let's go for a purple. These colors together are going to provide us some options when we start working with this in the future. For typography, we have the option to add something from Google Fonts, which we'll explore in another video, or choose from our existing categories. We're going to choose Helvetica, as this is a popular choice for organizations like Parks Canada. As well, we can start by looking at custom colors for these. I'm going to pull in the National Park Green that Parks Canada uses, and we'll see that in our header, but I'm going to leave the rest of it in that darker color so that we have some contrast on the page. As we come down, we can see different options for quotes. It automatically pulls us to that part of the page. We have that nice block. I'm gonna center it. Going into our links, you can have a full block, dotted underline, or full underline, as well as separators. We can go with the diamonds, we can go with the double underline. I like the single underline, but the full width of the page. And for links, separators, and uh, the quotes, you can also use custom colors instead of your full accent colors used within the rest of the story map. Then we come to choosing our own base map. And this will all depend on what you're looking to tell for your stories. Do we want to use uh, navigation or that modern antique? We're going to go with imagery, but you can always come back and change this. And finally, let's upload a logo. Choosing the Parks Canada logo. It'll take a minute, but it'll load. There we go. Now we're ready to publish. I'm going to publish this to the organization, or you can have it to a custom group. It's going to check it for issues. Now it's publishing it. And we're ready to use it within a story. Let's choose the species spotlight for piping plovers. We'll go to design, choose browse my themes, and our Parks Canada theme is here and ready to go. We see those different green colors that we've chosen. Now let's see what you're going to do with your custom themes. 